Well, hey there, this is Tech in the Classroom, and I'm Brandon Wilmarth with More Public Schools. Today we're going to look at how to use Outlook to reserve rooms. So rather than uh, walking across the, the hallway or the list or calling to reserve a conference room, uh, you can actually just use your email system and calendar system like we're normally used to. Uh, we're going to switch from our mail side to our calendar side. So as soon as we're there, you can generally see either a month view or maybe a, a work week view or a week view. It doesn't really matter what view you're in because it's all about creating a meeting. So anytime you want to reserve a room now, if you're going to go through the Outlook way, if your site uses that, uh, such as the ASC right now, you're going to go to New Meeting. So once you select New Meeting, you're going to have the option to add rooms. So you would go ahead and continue to do a meeting like you normally would. So uh, Video Demo Meeting. And instead of actually manually putting in the location, you select from the rooms that are available. So uh, this could work great for computer labs, for iPad checkouts, for, of course, computer uh, conference rooms. And once you select that, it's kind of treated as a person, as an email account, if you will, and then you hit OK, and it's sending it to. Now you can, of course, add other people. Dom showed me how to do this, and Mallory is typically the one that books these via paper. Now it's going to go to her email, and it's going to be a tentative request until she approves it. So uh, today, uh, let's call it at 11 o'clock. Uh, it's a 30 minute meeting and it, as always you can categorize it you can do all of this other stuff that you may or may not normally do but at this point I simply hit send you can see that this is the video demo meeting but in my mail here's my email confirmation that I have put in for the meeting it's been requested and as soon as Mallory gets this uh, as she has earlier today um, she will actually accept it or maybe there's a conflict and she's going to email me back and say hey can you do another time uh, but for the most part she's gonna have to click a button because the cool thing is that you can check the calendar without logging into the website or anything just from Outlook Calendar by going to open calendar and then look at rooms and this will actually sync up the ASC room conference now if you don't want to do this because this is kind of a once in a year type thing you don't have to uh, but if you use the computer lab or whatever room is here a lot you just hit OK and then it's going to real-time sync all of the appointments that are here. Now you may not be able to see the details, it might just say that it's booked, but you can see that there are several appointments today and tomorrow and on Thursday that I've booked already using this method. And so I can go ahead and see that, uh, you know what, it's open tomorrow morning at 8. But the problem is I can't just double click because I don't have permission. So what I have to do is I have to go over to my side and again go to new meeting and then select that room cool thing is that I can actually overlay this calendar so again I'm over here in the ASC conference room 100 and then this is my calendar and I'm overlaying it with this little arrow so I can see okay that matches up that matches up uh, so I can't make the appointment for here but at uh, Thursday at around 1 I can go ahead and make an appointment so I'm gonna go back to this calendar go to new meeting and select that room and this of course will uh, eventually grow and you can search it by typing in whatever you need and then you'll see technology conference room uh, each of these calendars will go to a different person like technology goes to Lisa and uh, our tech director June and uh, the conference ASC boardrooms and conference rooms go to Mallory and then perhaps at your school if you wanted this uh, you can request uh, via help desk a calendar to be created for a specific room and your media specialist or the secretaries can uh, accept those meetings and so more or less another way to go paperless and hopefully save time and effort now the added benefit of this is that you can do this online as well so we're gonna go ahead and log into our office 365 accounts and close down our full program and see how that works now, when we talk about Office 365, of course, it's always going to be online, so you need to go ahead and make sure that you get that bookmarked and uh, log in. Okay, so now we're here in our Office 365. We're online. Go to Calendar. And this is actually pretty much the same experience. Uh, in, in some ways, it's easier to book through Office 365 in your calendar. So as I said earlier, if I wanted to go ahead and make an appointment, I'm in October. Uh, let's go to... Uh, the 29th just double click in there 
and then you can see we're on October 29th. We've got a meeting at 10 a.m. to 10.30. Uh, we need to add a room. Now the cool thing is, on Office 365, it will generate an available list. So if I've tried to make this for eight o'clock on Thursday, I know that I already made that meeting earlier. I wanna add room. Notice that the ASC boardroom 100 or conference room 100 is not available. So I'm gonna go back to 10 o'clock and hit add room and there it is. So it's free, these are available. So you don't really need to check the calendar like I did on the uh, previous section of the video. So same thing, I wanna go ahead and call this a uh, collab meeting. And I can of course invite people. So I'm gonna invite Dom, there he is. And I'm gonna invite Mallory, there she is. And I can go ahead and save this to my calendar or any other calendars that I may have created. Uh, most of us just have a single calendar. And uh, well, that's about it. As always, we can go ahead and add some details. And then once you are done, you go ahead and hit send. Same thing, if I go over to my mail, I'm going to receive a collab meeting received and is pending approval. So I hope this helps. Uh, I don't know if your site is using Outlook room reservations just yet, but if you enjoyed this video and if you think this would uh, save some headaches and time and effort and energy, uh, email me and whoever's in charge of that room and we can get them set up. Thanks to Dominic for uh, getting this started and showing me how to do this so that I could show all of you great people. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ever need anything tech related, just email me, Brandon Wilmarth at moreschools.com or contact any one of us in instructional technology. Have a great day.